God is coming back. Christ is coming back. So we out here to, to warn the people. Because when he comes back, he ain't coming back well, like a lot of people think. He ain't coming back in that pose that they be doing. How they do it with the fingers is coming down, floating down. I'm here, my children. Here's lollipops and flowers to the world. You're saved now. That's not how he coming back. That's not what the scriptures say. Give me that. How is he coming back? Give me that Isaiah, uh, what's that, 66? 66, verse 15. This is how Christ is returning. Read. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 15. Uh -huh. For behold, the Lord would come with fire. He would come with what? With fire. What? Not lollipops? Not flowers? Not hugs? It says fire. Read. What? And with chariots. like And with chariots. You know what a chariot is? That's them so-called UFOs. Right? Those so-called UFOs. Those are God's vehicles. Right. So when random people say, yo, yo, believe it or not, bro, I saw a UFO. That's God's vehicle. That's them angels in the heavens. That's how they get around. Right? right? Those ain't no aliens up there. The only ones in space in the heavens is God's and his angels. Right? Read. With fire and with his chariots. Uh -huh. Like a whirlwind. Read. To render his anger. With to, to render his what? His anger with fury. But why is Christ coming back angry? Can anybody tell me out here? Why is Christ coming back angry? All the what? All the what? All the sins. He's coming back angry because guess what? The whole world is polluted with sin. Everywhere you look, there's sin. When you go inside the Popeyes, guess what? There's sin. This, this family dollar right here, there's sin. Our sisters inside dressing in immodestly. Christ commands a woman to dress how? To dress modestly. Brothers, everywhere you look, cutting into their beards. It's a commandment for the for the men. Not to cut into your beard. That's a sin according to God. These relationships that we form with, with the so-called black man and the so-called black woman. Baby mama, baby father. God does not honor that. He does not respect it. He hates it. He hates sin. He hates the sin and he hates the sinner. Hold that. Give me that in the Sirach. Sirach 12. He hates the sin and he hates the sinner. But the, the Christian church, what they going to tell you? They going to tell you the opposite of that. They're going to tell you uh, uh, God hates the sin, but he loves the sinner. There's a Christian gospel song that says Thank God, uh, God hears the, the, uh, the prayers of sinners. That's not, that's not scriptural. That's not scriptural at all. He doesn't even hear your prayers. He's not listening if you sin. That's what the Bible says. Sirach chapter 12, verse 6. Read. The book of Sirach chapter 12 and verse 6. Uh -huh. For the most high hate of sinners. He does what? Hate of sinners. What does God do what to sinners? How, how does he feel about sinners? How does he feel? He does what? He hates them. How does he feel about them? How does he feel about them, sis? He hates them. He hates them. Right. So when Christ returns, how do you want to be? Do you want to be a sinner? So what does it take for you not to be a sinner? How do you love God? How do you not be counted as one of those that he hates. Give me love. How do you love God? How do you have God love you? Keep his what? We're going to get it from the scriptures. Read. The book of 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3. Uh -huh. For this is the love of God. So this is God's love. This ain't no human love. This ain't no black man love. This ain't no white man Chinese. This ain't no people love. Right? This is God's form of love. Right? Read. That we keep his commandments. That we do what? That we keep his commandments. So my sister, how do we love God according to that? By keeping his commandments. By keeping his commandments. We have to keep his commandments. Right. Because when he comes back and you're not keeping his commandments, what is he going to do to you? 
He gonna kill you. Right. He gonna get rid of you because you never healed. Right now you're sick. I'm, I'm just being real with you, bro. I'm just being real with you, sis. Right now we are sick. Right. We are a sick people. Right. You know? We gang bang to we we hate it. We hate each other more than the Ku Klux Klan. Right. More than the so-called white man did. More than he does today. Right. We get shot down in the streets by the same people. Guess, but guess what? Guess who hates each other more than those people? Well, yeah, God, if you're a sinner, but the so-called white man, right? They hate us too. Right. But who hates the so-called black man more than the so-called white man is who? It's the black man. We hate each other. Right. We are living in sin. We are sick. We in the ghettos. Where are we supposed to be? Give me that Deuteronomy. Are we supposed to be under these other nations? Is that what we were created to be? Is that our placement given to us by God? Bring it out. Where are we supposed to be? Does anybody know out here other than Brother Ben? Y'all don't know? We gonna read it for you. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Uh -huh. For thou are in holy people. So this is talking about the so-called black man. This is talking about the so-called black woman. The Hispanics and the Native American Indians, which make up the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. It says, for thou. It didn't say the Chinese, the Chinese man. Bring it out. It didn't say the Japanese man. Jeez. It didn't say the so-called white man. Right. It says, for thou, you Israelites, read on. Unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. He did what? Have chosen thee. Guess what? He chose us. He chose us to be what? To be a special people. A what kind of people? A special people. He chose us to be a special people. But us gang banging out here, hating each other, eating pork, living like these other nations, sinning, are we, are we special? Hell no. What? So that's why God is angry. What? Because he created us to be special. Hey. He created us to be different from these other nations. Jeez. But when we sin, we're the same. We're the same. We're filthy just like them. Right. But he, create, he created us to be special and something else. Read on. Unto himself. Unto himself. Read. Above. How? Above. Hold on. Hold on. Does that say beside? Above. Hold on. Does that say below? Above. Hold on. But, but we were in slavery before. Were, did, weren't we in slavery? Who were the people that took us as captives? Bring it out. The so-called white man. What? And he had us in what position? Were we above? We were below him. God says the whole time we were supposed to be above these other nations. What? Read. Above all people. Above all of them. That's what God says he wanted the so-called black man, so-called black women. But guess what we did? We broke all of his commandments. Right. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28. Start at verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses is telling us during his time. God says if all of you do not listen. If all of you do not hearken to God and do what? To observe, to do all his commandments. All of his what? All his commandments. All of his commandments. Read on. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses. All these what? All these curses. All these curses. Read on. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, to sum it up, Moses said, hey look, God said, if y'all don't listen to him, if y'all keep breaking these commandments, if y'all don't keep the Sabbath day holy, if y'all men keep cutting into your beards, if y'all don't keep these commandments, God says all of these curses, all of these bad things are going to come upon you as a people. Right. And they're going to overcome you. Nation is men leading by example. Yeah.
FM. Nation.